Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I feel like I can't open my mouth right now because I didn't moisturize my face and it's so dry, my lips are just going to crack. I kind of look crazy because I still have my towel on for my shower. But the reason behind that is because I wanted to tell you guys about a few products that I've been using, especially right when I get out of the shower. So I thought, why not just show you? I've been using a new moisturizer and I feel like I need to tell you guys about it because my skin is extremely dry from being on Accutane for about a month now and this honestly has saved my life. So lately I've been using the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I stand by this stuff so much. I honestly just started using it and look at how much I've used. It really helps out your dry and patchy um, skin. I have like little slits on the side of my mouth from Accutane. They're just like really dry and they hurt and they're irritated and they're red. It's just not fun. So I use this every morning and night and I feel like it really does help throughout the day. Like my skin doesn't get dry or flaky throughout the day because I use this. So of course I do use a SPF during the day as well. I won't use this at night just because the sun's not out, but um, I do use the SPF during the day and I've been loving the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion and this has an SPF of 30 in it. This is at the drugstore. It's very affordable. It's probably like 10 bucks. And then this is 6 fluid ounces and this one's pretty affordable for how much you get. I think it's like $30. Um, I know a bunch of you have been wondering what I've been using since I started Accutane because I did switch up a few of my products. So I'll just take both of those products and just mix them together on my hand and then oh I feel so good <laughs> it just like calms the skin I feel like and just oh it feels like relief once I put it on I've been walking around a little bit since I got out of the shower like setting up and stuff for this video and my skin was not happy about it. I'll use it on my neck as well. For eye cream, I've been using the Pharmacy Do It All eye cream for a while. It's literally empty. I don't know if you can see that, but like you have to scrape it off the sides. But this stuff works so well, especially if you want to apply this right before you're doing your makeup. It doesn't really change the consistency around your eyes for your makeup either. It just works so good and it feels really nice on your skin. I've been using a really good leave-in conditioner to keep my hair really hydrated throughout the day and to help prevent breakage and everything else. I've been using the Beauty and Planet Leave-In Smooth Cream. This stuff is so good. I'm like halfway through it and I've had this for a while. I do about like seven or eight pumps. I use a lot just because I have a lot of hair. And then I'll use this Garnier Fructis Deep Nourish um, Marvelous Oil. This is just from the drugstore. And this leave-in conditioner you can get from Target. I think it's like 12 bucks or something. And then I'll do like four squirts of the oil. And then I'll just apply it on the bottoms first. And then I'll move up to like the sides of my face. Because right here I have really bad split ends. I don't know why I don't know how I started getting split ends there but the hair just like won't grow on the sides of my face I don't really know why while I get ready I'm just gonna pin my hair back just so it's out of the way okay so to start off with my makeup we're gonna do makeup first and then move into hair just because I hate doing my hair first. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Smashbox Primer Water to prep my skin. I drench my face in this just because my face is so dry now. So I need all the moisture I can get. And today I'm going to use three foundations just because I'm a little extra. <laughs> um, I'm going to use the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream. The Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation and a little bit of the Maybelline 24-hour full coverage foundation. So in the Thrive Cosmetics, I have the shade Light. In the Healthy Foundation, I have the shade LC1. And in the Maybelline one, I have 112 Natural Ivory. So I do this just because this is very hydrating and very glowy. This is also very, very hydrating and very glowy. And then I do need a little bit of matte to my face, just like the tiniest bit. So that's why I add in Maybelline. And this helps it stay all day long. So this one will literally make your makeup stay 
for like 24 hours. <laughs> and then I'll mix them all together. And then it'll look something like this. And then I'm going to use a damp booty blender. <laughs> I almost said booty. I'm going to use a damp beauty blender to blend all of this out. I find that beauty blenders get you a more flawless look. I do like using brushes when I'm in a rush and I really don't have any time, but today we have time, so I'm going to use a beauty blender. This gives you a little bit of coverage, but it does have, um, it does allow some of my freckles to poke through, so it doesn't make you look cakey at all either. That's why I like using the glowy foundations, because those don't really cake up on you. All right, and then moving on to concealer, you guys already know I use the same concealer every single look, every single time throughout like what the past two years and it's Tarte Shape Tape. I'm using the shade Light and I'm just going to use the tiniest amount underneath my eyes, on my chin and then on my forehead. Just like the tiniest amount. And then I'm going to blend that out with the same beauty blender. If you just use a little bit of this, it definitely makes it look a little bit more natural instead of like harsh and full coverage. And it can get cakey sometimes too if you just use a lot. So I found that less is more, especially during the summer months, even though we're getting into fall. Like with dry skin, you do not want to add a ton of product onto your skin. I'm gonna go in with powder and I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent loose and I'm going to set underneath my eyes on my eyelids as well and then just like my t-zone just very lightly I'm not using a ton of powder because I honestly don't even need it so once my face is all set I'm going to move on to eyebrows and I always use this as well. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I use the shade Soft Brown. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just kind of wipe off all that excess powder. I'm going to move on to contour and bronzer. I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit to contour and then um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer to bronze. And for the contour kit, I just use this middle shade right here. Um, I just used the littlest amount of this because I used to go really ham with this and my face just looked so wacky looking, honestly. It just looked a little too much. And I find that by using a smaller mirror, it lets you just focus on one area instead of like your whole face. And that helps me not go too hard in the paint too. And then I'll do underneath my chin and my forehead as well. We're going to move on to blush, and I love this blush trio. I cannot stop using it. I use it every single time I do my makeup, and I think it's just like the best blush trio out there. Oh, I thought I got makeup on my shirt. This is the Anastasia Blush Trio in Peachy Love. I only used to use this first shade right here, but now I honestly just go, ooh, and it literally comes out with the perfect shade ever. I feel like this is what that's for. I just didn't realize like if you mix them all together, the color still looks pretty. <laughs> so I just add a little bit onto my cheeks for some color. And then for highlighter, I really like this Makeup Revolution Soap X palette. Um, I've pretty much been using like the goldish tones only just because I feel like that looks best on my skin tone. I'll just use like these three shades and just like mix them all together and apply it on my cheeks and I'll just take that and apply some on my chin and my nose as well just to add some extra glow and then next I move on to my brows so obviously my brows are filled in already but I'm going to take this Anastasia clear brow gel and just push all of my hairs upward 
I like the more fluffy looking brow now instead of like clean, slick, perfect brows. I kind of just like them to look a little more natural and fluffy, like they're gonna fly away. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell a difference on camera, but I definitely can tell a difference in person. And then I'm gonna use this Tardiste uh, mascara. We're almost done. I'm gonna use two setting sprays to set my face just to make it more glowy and hydrated and make sure my makeup stays all day. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Primer Water again. This is more to just get rid of that powderiness, make it look more natural and glowy, and this also adds in some hydration. And then I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray on top. I do like adding a little bit of something to my lips, but adding a liquid lipstick really just dries out my lips like so bad. So what I've been doing is I'll take a lip liner, like a really natural type of lip liner. This is actually called Natural from NYX. I'll just take this and line my lips and kind of like color them in a little bit, like make a gradient effect kind of. I don't know how to explain it. Once my lips are all lined, I filled them in just like a little bit. I'll take like any chapstick. I really like this one though because it kind of makes it look like a gloss in a way. This is the Blistec, Blistex <laughs> Medicated Lip Ointment. And then I'll just take this and put it right over. And then it will make them look really glossy, but also it will be like kind of curing and nourishing your lips all at the same time. So it's kind of like a win-win. I just figured that out one day and I was like, wow, this is like the best thing ever. It's kind of like a dupe for a lip gloss, but it's like way cheaper. It's like $3. So yeah, that is makeup all done. My hair looks like a crazy lion right now just because I let it air dry. It's a little bit healthier for it. So I'm going to go blow dry my hair really quickly and then I'll show you guys how I've been doing my hair lately. Um, I just really like this look because it keeps my hair out of my eyes and my face and it's just like really cute. Okay, so I just blow dried my hair. As you can see, it's kind of like fluffy on the end. Like it doesn't look like pin straight. It's still kind of like little. So I'm going to go through and straighten my hair, and I use this uh, Chi straightener. Look at how stinking cute this color is. Like, I love this straightener. It's Tiffany blue. It's so cute, so girly. Um, I don't know. I got this at Ulta. It's like Chi for Ulta Beauty. I got it on sale one day, and I was like, okay, yes. And this thing works so freaking good. It goes up to 410 degrees. Obviously, I do a middle part, as you can see but I just split my hair into two sections. Yeah, so this is what I do. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just straighten your hair how you straighten your hair. Honestly, there's no trick to it. I just go until my hair is pretty flat and my hair is pretty straight. So my whole head is straightened, as you can see, obviously. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing recently. I definitely need a mirror to do this. You can use any like type of body pin that you have at your house. Um, I know there's ones that are like really cute with like pearls and jewels and everything like that, but I don't have any of those. I just have plain Jane bobby pins, which I mean, girl, you gotta live with what you got. This is super simple, but I like doing this because as you can see, I have a widow's peak, just like a little one, and these front pieces get in my eyes so much. Like if I just leave my hair... Like, look at how much they're in my eyes. I hate that. I take, like, little sections like this. Eee! I should have grabbed the bobby pins before I did this. So I'll put, like, one, two, and then I'll do the same thing to the other side. And then I'll pull, like, some of the hair out. 
just so it has some volume. I have baby hairs, as you can see, so these kind of just like fall out, but I'll just like straighten them and flatten them against my head. Super easy, super simple. You can even do this with like curled hair. That would probably look really cute because you'll have like some volume and stuff. Or you can do it with like, um, like crimped hair or like where your hair is in a braid and then you take it out overnight and then just pop these back. Um, I just really like this because look at how much more my face is like open. Now that I'm ready for the day, so I decided I would just do a little house tour for you guys. Since you've been wanting this for a very long time and I haven't given it to you, so I'm gonna do it today. Even though the apartment is not finished yet, I still have a few more things to get, so don't judge. I still have a lot of like paintings and pictures to get, but, whoa, that's bright. Um, I thought I would just give you guys a little house tour since it's almost done and I'm just being nice today. So I'm gonna flip you guys around. Okay, so basically, this is the door right here, obviously, floor. So this is what you see when you first walk in. We have a little cute little home sign that's from Big Lots. Um, and then we put like our shoes right here. And then when you turn to the right, you have our cute little living room. And then if you turn to the left, then you have our cute little kitchen. When you first come in, you see this little section. So we have a blanket ladder, which is from Marshalls, a blanket, which is also from Marshalls, a cute little basket in another blanket from Marshalls. <laughs> um, our TV is mounted, as you can see, and then we do have a TV little council table. We got this as a gift from Matt's parents. He actually had this in his last apartment, so we just brought it here. Um, and then we have some cute little decorations. A lot of these decorations I got from either the thrift store or Target. I think I got that vase from Target, that little black little uh, thingy from a thrift store. This I got a long time ago. I honestly don't remember where I got that. So sorry, but you can probably find the same exact thing from like a Marshalls. Um, and then those two little things are from a thrift store as well. So then moving on to Mikey, aka the plant. Matthew named him. It's a he. I don't know why. This is a real plant. I forgot the name of it. Honestly, I'm really bad with names. I'm really bad with memorization. But she's pretty. She's thriving. She's loving her life. I just got a little basket to put her in. Um, and that is from Marshalls as well. So we have a cute little balcony. I don't really want to show you what's outside because I don't know any creepers. But yeah, our balcony is really Really nice we don't have anything on it right now just because we're still figuring out our decor and everything else I wanted to decorate the inside before the outside so and then this is our little lounge area we got this sectional from a Remor and Flanagan clearance outlet like store it was so affordable and I absolutely love it honestly it's perfect for the two of us because Matt can lay right there and I can lay right there so um it's not good for like having a lot of people over but it suits our apartment really well as you can see it's kind of a small space so we tried to fill it as much as we can but I just didn't want it to be like so big that like you couldn't even walk in the front door like you need an area to walk so yeah we got that from Raymore and Flanagan and then the pillows came with it which was really nice I loved that I mean I'm kind of iffy about like the spiral one I don't know how I feel about that little guy right there but I'm gonna keep him until we can start decorating some more this coffee table was a gift from Matthew's mom and stepdad they were so nice they give it to us for a housewarming gift I believe it's from uh, Wayfair maybe? I'm thinking Wayfair. I might be wrong. She might correct me. That's okay. I'll comment down below if it's wrong. So I just have a candle, some coasters, and like a little candle holder thing that has nothing in it. That's from Big Lots as well. And then on the bottom of the coffee table I have these two baskets. And those are both from Target. And then moving up above we have this really cute mirror. I actually love that we put it here because... It's like prime lighting for selfies. It's nice to see yourself when you're walking out the door out there. Make sure you're looking good, you're looking fine. 
You know what I mean? So I don't know where this is from. Matt actually bought this for his last apartment, so I have no idea. Sorry, but you can probably find something exactly like it from Marshalls. And then this light is from, ooh, I literally just tripped. <laughs> this standing light is from Target. I'll definitely link as much stuff as I can, but I love it because it's very minimalist and it just suits our area perfectly. So you're probably wondering, Shelby, why the heck is this one painting just like sitting there? Because I wanted to show you guys what my envision is for this like area for paintings and prints. Hey! Um, so I got this for a gift for Matt's and I. I think it was for like our anniversary or, or something, I don't know. But pretty much it's like the start of us, which is when I named it, and it's like the date and the coordinates and everything when we had our first date. So this is pretty much what the stars looked like when we had our first date, which is really cool. It's really like heartwarming. I don't know. I just think it's so cool and different. So I need to get something that makes it a pair to put like in this section so we can like hang it up up here. You know what I mean? Like you can't just have one picture. Like this is a huge, this is a pretty big area. Like you obviously, so I'm picturing that right here and then something else right here, but like the exact same size as that picture. So yeah, that's my envision. That's what like I'm thinking. I still have to find it. And then once you first walk in as well, I forgot to show you guys this. We do have like a little key holder. This is from Big Lots. It obviously just holds our key. And then moving into the kitchen. Our kitchen is very plain. It's boring. There's nothing to it. It's just a kitchen. We cook and we clean. <laughs> so we have our fridge. Obviously this is super boring. A microwave, toaster, ninja. Another little blender, our sink. We do have a dishwasher, which is very nice. Um, an oven, a stove. I got these towels for, you know, obviously autumn and fall from Marshalls. They're so cute. I love the little pumpkins on them. I just feel like they really suit our vibe. So yeah, super basic kitchen. Nothing really to it. I got this holder for our utensils from Marshalls as well. As you can tell, I love Marshalls. So then moving over to this entryway. This is our little dining area. So we got this table um, from Big Lots. It's very comfortable. It's like a high top table. As you can see, like the legs are very long. It's perfect. It's a square. It fit this little area literally perfectly. And then these little decorations, I got that holder, the little um, wire, what is it, metal, metal holder, I think that's from Marshalls, that little tin is from Marshalls, that little, uh, oh my goodness, I don't even know what that's called, but you know what I mean, that's probably from Marshalls, and that's from Hobby Lobby, and then I just throw some flowers in there, super cute, they're dying, as you can see, oh my goodness, so, and then we bought this clock, this is super cute. It's really rustic looking. This is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And then we have our plant number two right here. I still need to get a stand for her, obviously. I want to get one that kind of lifts her off the ground a little bit so you can see it like even with the table. So I'll do our bedroom first just because this is the most interesting part. So when you walk in, you have our bed to the left, our TV. And that's about it. Honestly, our room is very minimalist. I still need to get some decorations for it. I just really wanted to focus on the living room first. Our nightstands and dresser are from Home Depot. We wanted to buy something super affordable and that looked kind of like a rustic type of uh, vibe to it. So we bought those. I do like the way they look. I just don't think we're going to keep them forever. But it does suit our apartment really well. And then this light, so I bought two lights, obviously that side, you can't even see, it's so bright. <laughs> um, and this side, this is from Target. It's that exact same light that's in the living room, but they're just a little bit smaller. And then our bed frame, this is a king bed if you couldn't tell. Um, our bed frame is from Wayfair. Our duvet is from Macy's. Um, the duvet cover is from Macy's. Obviously the pillows matching it is from Macy's. And then those little throw pillows are from Marshalls. And then the dresser obviously matches the nightstands. And then on top I just put some little decor. A little picture of us from TJ Maxx. That's a fake plant. It's from TJ Maxx. <laughs> um, 
And then that little uh, funky looking thing is from TJ Maxx as well. And then moving back out to the hallway, we're going to go over the, the beauty room. I totally want to change this whole thing up, so probably the next house apartment tour, this will be completely different. So, keep an eye out for that, but basically I just have all of my like Ikea drawers and everything in the middle of the room, and it's just a very boring, plain, it's just like blah to me. Like I want to completely change this room, make it look more like rustic, modern. I want it to look more like a room instead of like a studio with like all these lights. But I mean, it will do for right now. So I just have it in the middle. I don't know why. I guess I just needed room to get into these closets right here because we do have stuff in here. My whole shoe rack is right there. <laughs> I don't have a problem, I promise. I have my mirror in here as well to take pictures, you know cute little Instagram pics Mwah. um and then yeah this is my whole little setup these two drawers are from Ikea don't mind the mess I just finished recording and then the little desk is from Ikea the chair is from Marshall's and then like the lights are from Amazon that's from Amazon. My little like holders are probably from Marshalls for my brushes. And then I have a lonely plant in here as well that I need to get like lifted off the ground. But she is thriving, honey. She is thriving. All right, and then the last room is the bathroom. It's very, very tiny and boring and blah, but it's a bathroom and it works. And then this is our shower curtain, super cute. I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it's really cute. This is from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, same thing. And then these I think we got from Marshalls as well. We did have to put a rack on the back of our door because there's like no space for towels anywhere. And then we do have some bath mats, just white bath mats. Those are from Marshalls as well. They are the softest things like ever. So yeah, that's our apartment. I hope you guys really enjoyed this little tour. Like I said, it's not done yet, so don't judge too hard. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this little vlog. I know it wasn't too much, too informative, like, I don't know. I didn't really have a lot going on today. Like, I don't really know what I'm going to even do with the rest of my night, but I'll figure it out. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, loves.